What's good YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusaro Fitness and today is going to be what seems like a stupid and simple video but you would be surprised at how many people say do you season your foods? My chicken is so boring, my steak tastes like shit, all my food is bland, it has no taste. Well this video is to go and show you some of the spices and sauces you can use so your food doesn't have to taste like that. And one thing people stay away from which makes food taste amazing is salt. And if you haven't seen my video on bam, sodium, I'll throw it on the screen. Watch that if you're scared of salt and then come back to this video and go ahead and buy some spices with salt in it. Don't be afraid. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I like to use to season my foods. This is not everything. I'm very big on different sauces, especially hot sauce as you'll see. And that's about it. So let me show you some of the staples that I like to use when I'm seasoning my foods. Love garlic salt. This stuff is unbelievably good on pretty much anything. So any kind of salt, um, onion salt, garlic salt. I also have here a Himalayan pink sea salt. Uh, it was cheap, that's why I bought it. I didn't buy it because it's pink or it comes with a cool grinder or anything. I also have, you know, regular salt like everyone else has in their house. So I salt my foods, not too heavily, but I'm not scared to use it. Um, this is great. This is a hot and spicy seasoning. I'm not exactly sure what's in here. Sea salt, black pepper, red pepper, chili powder, onion, garlic. So again, just, just grind some of that on some of my food. I'm also very big on Cajun seasoning. You could just pretty much Google Cajun seasoning spices and they'll list all the spices that are included in a Cajun seasoning. So that's simple, but adds great flavor to a lot of meals. Um, of course, granulated garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne, pepper, those kind of stuff. Uh, crushed red pepper, black pepper, red cooking wine, white cooking wine, balsamic vinegar, um, Worcestershire sauce, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar. Um, you have teriyaki sauce, soy sauce. So all these things, yes, I know a lot of people don't use them because of the sodium, but again, please watch the video that I have on sodium. It's not as big as a worry as people make it out to be. But if you are worried about that, you can also buy Mrs. Dash seasonings. These are salt-free. They have some really good flavors. I have onion and herb, original, fiesta lime. I'm actually out of the other ones because I use them pretty often, but they have Southwest Chipotle. They have garlic and herb. There's a ton of them. There really are. So Mrs. Dash, if you want to check them out, a little bit more expensive because it's like a specialty product being at this salt free. But you know, if you worry about salt, these are a great option. And then we have hot sauces, just plain Tabasco. Honestly, not really a big fan of it, but every house has Tabasco, right? Frank's Red Hot. This stuff is my go-to. Um, this is the wings version because I like to make buffalo chicken salads and buffalo chicken wraps and all that. But they have different kinds of this as well. They have regular hot sauce. They have sweet chili and garlic. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. So Frank's I'm a big fan of. This stuff is ridiculous. Uh, this is, I believe, a habanero hot sauce that my brother brought back from the Caribbean for me. Unbelievably hot. That's good. And one of my other favorites that I'm actually out of right now is Chipotle uh, Cholula. That's one of my favorites too, and they make other kinds such as chili, garlic, and lime, and then regular hot sauce as well. And then you have your other basics that pretty much everyone has but forgets to use them in marinades and stuff like regular yellow mustard, Dijon, jalapeno mustard, wasabi mustard. I had a chipotle mustard but ran out of that. Lemon juice, lime juice, simple stuff, garlic. And then these two are really good as well, especially on eggs. Uh, sriracha, which is a pretty hot sauce. It's a chili sauce. And then regular old salsa. So I know it sounds like a lot. Also, you know, can never really go wrong with olive oil. This is macadamia nut oil. If you want to just either cook with it or add it on top of your meal for some healthy fats. So that just goes to show you there are a ton of different spices and sauces out there to make your food taste good. You don't have to eat plain, bland food, salt-free everything. Don't be afraid to salt your foods and spice them to how you like them. That rhymed. And you'll enjoy your food a lot more that way. So I hope this helps. 
I'm going to make a video in just a little bit about how I prepare chicken in bulk and how I season it myself. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video and also comment down below and let me know some of the spices and sauces that you guys like to use. I'm always open to trying something new, so I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.